So Stockland generates returns through the ownership and intensive management of real estate assets and, and the development of, uh, of property where we can deliver a higher and better use. And in, in that regard, by doing that and, and undertaking activities that provide a return well above our cost of capital, we're able to generate growth through the cycle of between four to six percent. Uh, at the moment, we're at a pretty strong part of the cycle, particularly for our residential business and in retail sales. And that's seeing growth actually running a bit above that. So we've been guiding to between six uh, and three quarters to seven and a half percent. The Stocklands residential business has gone really well uh, this year. So if we look at the interim, our profits are up 73 percent. And there's a lot of factors that came into that. I guess first and foremost, our product's very uh, middle of Australia targeted to the customer. So half our buyers are first home buyers. We focus on affordability. The level of interest rates is, is helping. Obviously, migration and a natural increase in population drives demand. And we also have an undersupply in the metropolitan markets around Australia. So they're the, they're the macro things. And for our business specifically, we've been reshaping it, bringing more projects into production that have great access to transport, to public amenity, to shopping. And as a result of that, and those projects having operating profit margins above 15%, that's really what's driven that increase in profit. The, uh, the regions uh, that we're targeting for acquisitions is really metropolitan, uh, eastern seaboard, with a particular focus on Sydney. Uh, and in terms of sectors, we're looking for residential opportunities that adjoin our existing projects or where we have brand presence. Uh, in shopping centres, it's really about the underlying uh, potential of the trade area and the strength of the trade area. And in logistics, it's about how well they're suited to transport infrastructure. Uh, some examples would include Willowdale and Alara in, and Schofields in Sydney, metropolitan area, well serviced relative to trains and in particular to amenity and shopping, uh, logistics assets in uh, Ingleburn in Sydney. So on the shopping centres, while well, we've bought some centres like Bundaberg, the main focus is organic growth where we've got a $1.5 billion uh, development pipeline which is focused on lifestyle and leisure, service and fast casual dining and entertainment and where we can see 7 to 8% initial yields and 11% plus internal rates of return which is highly accretive to enterprise value and to our earnings. So Stockland, as a, you know, the largest diversified real estate company in Australia, is an easy way to get an exposure to the whole market. 70% you know, of our profit comes from recurring investment assets, uh, the bulk of which are shopping centres. In fact, of that mix, 70% you know, are shopping centres. And then the balance are logistics and business park assets and office assets. And then 30% of our profit and asset base is in residential both in terms of traditional house and land and apartments and townhomes, and also retirement living, which is growing off the back of an aging demographic. Our key strategic priorities are to grow our asset returns and our customer base. Uh, and, and number two is to make sure we maintain a strong capital base with low levels of leverage and protect our A- minus credit rating. And to, thirdly, to improve our processes and our systems to deliver a great customer experience and deliver on our purpose, which we believe is a better way to live through really you know, thoughtful and sustainable development.